Behind the Rocky Mountains of Colorado is a great little village called Snowmass Village. It's a ski and snowboard resort in the wintertime. Tons of snow, but it's summertime now. The snow has melted, and this is transformed into a mountain boarding mecca. I'm Uncle E. This is Akoni Kama, one of the legends of the great sport of mountain boarding. And we're here in Snowmass Village for the U.S. Open of Mountain Boarding Championships. And Paul Mitchell and MBS are two of the integral sponsors that are putting this thing on. Over our shoulder, we got the big air. It's one of the two events in Border Cross. Talk to me about what we're going to see out here. Uh, you're going to see some insane freestyle tricks for mountain boarding. We've got some of the best guys here. You're going to see some insane Border Cross racing, four-man racing down through jumps, turns, and berms, just taking each other into the dirt. <laughs> It is the U.S. Open. Snowmass actually has a camp here for kids. The Groms are out here. Youth division, sport division, master division, women and the pros. So a lot of action to get to. Without further ado, let's just hit it. Well, hi, in the Rocky Mountains, Snowmass, great accommodations for a phenomenal event. Thursday, as you see, time trials. Friday, qualifying, and Saturday, the main event. A lot of action going on. Oconee, you've been on these courses for years. What's the feel? What's the vibe leading up to a race? Uh, you're looking at a lot of anticipation, just a lot of unsure what's going to go on. Everybody's showing up, riding the course, getting used to it. Totally pumped. The course is off the hook this year. It's fast. It's technical. It's got everything you'd want in a border cross course. And I can only imagine for the training aspect of it all, figuring out the ebb and the flow. And you see some of the kids with handbrakes, with levers on them, that actually slow you down coming into the doubles, into some of the precarious situations uh, on the course. So you see right there. That's what mountain boarding is all about. This is the U.S. Open. It promises to be very exciting. And when we come back, Okoni Kama, the man, looking good on the screen there, will break down the nuances of the boards and the gear, and then we'll go right to the action of the border cross final. Yeah. So stick with us. That is serious border cross racing right there, folks. The 2005 U.S. Mountain Board Championships is brought to you by Paul Mitchell, putting the style back in lifestyle sports. And by the town of Snowmass Village, featuring total mass appeal. And MBS Mountain Boards, always riding. And a special thanks to Snowmass Ski Area, high in the Rocky Mountains. Your hairstylist is like a magician. Creating a look that fits your lifestyle. Paul Mitchell lets you keep that look. Anywhere. Anytime. Paul Mitchell is all about style, your style. Only your salon guarantees the real Paul Mitchell. Do you need video production services for corporate communications? A training video? A television commercial to drive sales of your business? JSP can make your production a success. We offer top quality services at the most affordable rates available. John Sandy Productions, Inc. is a highly motivated team of video film production and multimedia experts. Put the power of video communications to work for you. 303-721-6121. Or visit us on the web, jsptv.com. If you're new to the sport of mountain boarding, check this out. It's quality entertainment.
Welcome back to Snowmass Colorado for the U.S. Open Mountain Board Championships. Uncle E joined by Akoni Kama. And it's time for some sick race in the youth. The 13 to 17 year olds off and running out of the start gates. Morris Hogan, Ben Selinger, Calvin O'Brien, Derek Howe out in front with a brake handle lever. Morris Hogan, talk to me about this course, Coney. This course is absolutely insane. It's tight, it's technical, it is fast. There's been so much work has gone in this course. If you look at these rhythm sections, you come into these things flying, they just want to toss you. It takes everything to stay on top of them. Morris Hogan doing a great job utilizing the brake to stay on top of the speed to keep in control, which is pretty much the key thing to do in these situations. Well, you see Morris Hogan way out in front using that lever, that brake, to his advantage. And down in the back, I believe that was Derek Howe taking a digger. And that's going to happen in this sport. And a gap in the double at the finish line there. Morris Hogan sliding across and taking the victory in the youth division. Followed in second place by Mr. Ben Selinger, Calvin O'Brien in the bronze position. Derek Howe settles for fourth place. Dirt Dogs. Well, the Dirt Dogs, a camp for little rippers of all ages coming out here. We got to hook up with Mr. Doug Webb, one of the coaches. This is Camp Snowmass, and we are entering, gosh, I think 13 Dirt Dogs today. We train all summer long for event, an event just like this. Primarily, we just get a lot of riding done this summer. We go up and down the chairlift, but the coaches do movement analysis all day on the kids and watch them, watch their form, watch their riding, and we discuss with the kids on a day-to-day -day basis, hourly basis, what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong so to make them faster and better riders. We also try to do it by example. We all ride as well. Um, most of us haven't entered the competition because we're here for the kids and we want them to do the best, but we are all definitely very involved in the sport as well. So pretty much it's all for the kids and just making sure that they ride safe and they have a good time while they're out here. Well, in every sport, as you may imagine, there's a pioneer and innovator. This dude right here, Jason Lee, is kind of, uh, if you follow snowboarding and all, snowboarding, Jake Burton, the name synonymous with uh, snowboarding, getting that off the ground, along with guys like Sims and, you know, this guy here, Jason, you've uh, basically taken this dream and built it into a full entire sport. Obviously, you've got the, you know, the, the best equipment out here. There's a lot of com competition. Um, give me kind of your, your, your vision from, from day one and how it's blown up. Okay. Well, in 1992, myself and uh, co-founder Patrick McConnell started Mountain Board Sports with the idea of creating something to do in the summertime for snowboarders. So we were tinkered in our garage long enough to make something that would go off-road. And 12 years later, we have a, a line of you know, 12 different boards for all ages and all abilities and all different price levels. So, uh, uh, prices range from about $100 retail up to a little over $500 retail. Um, high performance stuff, entry level stuff that comes with brakes. MBS, where can they find the, the gear if they want to go online and check it out? You can go to MBS.com and see everything from our product line to uh, races and events in your neighborhood. Beautiful, baby. Keep up the good work. All right. And to the racing we go in the sport division, 18 to 34, the requirements, kind of the intermediate field, yet they're rippers. Brad Barron, Brandon Johans, Cole Ship, Casey Thomas. Out in front, Cole Ship in the black, getting it on. We've got Brad Barron hot on his tail coming to the first turn, just staying on top of him, almost rubbing wheels there, coming in the doubles. And looks like Barron washes out the side there. And now we've got Cole Ship holding the lead with uh, Johan right behind him. Yeah, anything can happen on any part of the course, similar to border cross or ski across or super cross on motorcycles. And you're witnessing the ebb and the flow of Cole Ship. You see him kind of down low, pumping the rollers, generating speed, some massive inertia, if you will. And he's got this one in the bag. If you can just hold it together, cross the finish line, gaps it. There's the painted line, and Cole Ship takes the sport division, followed by Mr. Brandon Johans into the pads there. Casey Thomas and Brad Barron augering in up top, he will take fourth place. That's the way it's shaped up for the sport finals in the men's division. The Masters, Akoni, what's so cool about the Masters? These guys are older than dirt and they charge just as hard as any of the young guys. They're absolutely off the hook. If you look at Steffler coming out with a strong early lead with Sikorel right on his tail. Steffler goes in, takes on the doubles, keeps a good say lead because he keeps his speed, and Sicarell is just chasing him right now. Ted Ledoux over the double double just augered in on the green shirt, and Stifler, or Steffler, this is not uh, American Pie, this is Steffler out in front in the blue. A tall drop of water negotiating the course properly. Uh, he's an amazing rider. I've been riding with this guy since uh, 97 when we did our first contest together. Just been in the sport since the beginning. Super cool guy and just loves to ride. Well, a friend of yours and mine since way back in the 20th century, crossing the line, winning it, Eric Steffler. There's Jason Sickerall taking second place. Brian Bishop ends up in third. Ted Ledoux, with a crash up top, earns himself fourth place. Well, it's not all about the men. There's ladies in this sport, and I got a chance to talk to one of them. 
Not only are there youngsters and uh, some gnarly men, there's attractive women that compete in this sport. Tiffany, what's your last name again? Ecker. Now, this is a local girl living in the Colorado area. How long have you been uh, hurling yourself down courses like this, having some fun? About two years now. And it's injury-free. Anyone can do this. You've never hurt yourself. You always look as good as you do just getting after it, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's I not mean, true? Injuries are always there. Um, I've had my fair share, but I mean, as long as you're safe, wear your protective gear, you're all good. Did you do a little cross-training with roller derby? Roller derby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one at a time, pretty simple. You got the whole course yourself. When you got four, uh, four girls side by side, all friendship put aside. It's all about getting, uh, getting that whole shot, getting out in front first, and making it to the bottom, right? Depends on what's going on. I mean, today I kind of see it as like I'm gonna wait for the last and see what everyone pile up down there and go around. The tortoise and the hare style. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. I guess we'll see what happens. And that we will. We'll see if that strategy works for Tiffany Eckert on the far right hand side next to her, Paige Niehazel. Carolyn Kunkel in the red with the pink helmet getting the whole shot, and Nancy Ng stealth out in black. Now, Nancy's got a lot of experience. Carolyn, though, very strong, very competitive as they come into turn number one. Those two girls are fierce riders, and Nancy right there in black taking an unfortunate washout. t roll totally capitalizing on it, keeping her speed in control. She's got nobody on her, so there's no reason to rush through the course right now. It's all about staying up and getting over the finish line. Yep, the ebb and the flow, the tortoise and the hare. Now, Carolyn Conkle, Coney, you were mentioning earlier that she was uh, doing some crazy tricks on the core tour. Uh, Carolyn Conkle is one of the first and only women to successfully go down the core tour rolling and hit the jump. Tiffany Eckerd being the other one who has gone down the roll in, and if I remember correctly, she did get hurt when she did that. Um, it was, was very unfortunate. Part of the game, part of the sport, into the pads down below, on her bum bum across the finish line, the winner, Carolyn Kunkel, followed by Nancy Ng. She crashes out of the board, lands on her tailbone, but protective gear is there, and a quick battle for third and fourth between Tiffany Ecker and Paige Niehazel. That's the way the ladies' final shaped up. Let's head down to the finish line to talk to Carolyn Kunkel. All right, top to bottom, I had the lead from the start. I, that was my plan, to pull out as fast as I can. Uh, I almost lost it in first burn, but somehow I held on and made it all around, and I just kept going and going and wasn't looking back, and there it is, I nailed it. Taking no prisoners, sticking to her game plan. Carolyn Kunkel, the champion of the ladies' division, well done. One of the names synonymous with greatness in the sport of mountain boarding, Akoni Kama. Not only a good looking guy with a fantastic hairdo and some bling, but uh, rather talented. Now, we talked to Jason Lee about uh, MBS uh, competition. It's out there, different boards, different strokes, different folks. Talk to me about what you're rocking. Uh, basically, I ride Ground Industries mountain boards, and uh, this is the Conflict. This is the board I primarily ride. And, you know, it's all pretty much basically the same thing. You've got boards, you know, you've got binding systems. We've got wheels, but what separates the boards is the uh, cube technology that Ground works with. Basically, what they've done is designed a cube that just by undoing this right here and this, you can take it out, you can change the stiffness of the board really quick and really easy. Another advantage is your truck's not under constant tension, so it doesn't want to explode apart, you know, because there's no, there's nothing pushing out, there's no springs involved, so it makes a big difference for uh, the life of your equipment. If uh Someone at home wants to get a, a, a ground board. Where do they look online? How can they get a hold of a, a board? Uh, Groundindustries.com. Groundindustries.com. Okay, yep. look it up. Google it, folks. That's Good stuff. Fun. Synonymous with greatness, like we said, Akoni Kama. Let's get back to it. Well, a guy that deserves to be in this division, Akoni Kama. He's not in it. He'll be calling it. we got Tyler Mork, Leon Robbins, Jeremy Leaf, Jason Small. These are the pros. It's going to go fast. Akoni, tell us what we're looking at. Leon Robbins in the lead, holding it down, coming in the double-double section with mad animal style. I mean, we're talking heavy on the sauce with Jeremy Leaf playing it safe right behind him, holding his second. You're looking at Tyler and Jason Smalls battling it out. This is it, this is where the money is, and this is where everything comes down to the wire. And look at Leon Robbins, just complete control, awareness on the course at all times. Has a look over his shoulder right now to see where Jeremy Leaf is. He gets a little grab in there for style. Boom, another grab across the finish line. And Leon Robbins is your 2005 US Open Mountain Board champ. Let's talk to him about his run. Just pumped like hell, got on front and then tried to hold on. Pretty clean race, just have yeah, to try to keep it smooth all the way down. Well, Leon Robbins, after the dust settles, takes the gold medal. Jeremy Leaf, second, small third, Mork, and fourth. All this action brought to you by Paul Mitchell, and it's only just beginning. Stick around for more. We'll be back with more Mountain Board in action from Snowmass, Colorado. Woo! Your hairstylist is like a magician. Creating a look that fits your lifestyle. 
Paul Mitchell lets you keep that luck. Anywhere, anytime. Paul Mitchell is all about style. Your style. Only your salon guarantees the real Paul Mitchell. Do you need video production services for corporate communications? A training video? A television commercial to drive sales of your business? JSP can make your production a success. We offer top quality services at the most affordable rates available. John Sandy Productions, Inc. is a highly motivated team of video film production and multimedia experts. Put the power of video communications to work for you. 303-721-6121. Or visit us on the web, jsptv.com. The style in lifestyle sports. Well, how about that wild ride, the unpredictable ride of border cross, like the athletes, like you've said, like everyone said, you never know what's going to happen. It's not over until it's over. Talk to me. Border cross is off the hook. Leon Robbins stepped up, dominated the pack, uh, the gate first, pulled ahead, and just pretty much said goodbye to everybody. Yeah, the juniors, the groms, the girls, everyone had a fantastic time out there. Now it's time to rah, shift it on up to the big air. Over our shoulders here, we got to drop in something like 20 feet straight down. Most people would have a hard time just sliding down it, um, not being scared. Then you got a big old kicker to jump, and they're gonna be doing some crazy tricks. What's going, what are we gonna see out here? Uh, you pretty much see everything. You might see a double backflip, rodeo sevens, backside threes, backside three one footers, misties, corks. Pick a trick. You're probably gonna see it here today. This is the U.S. Open. This is the Big Air. There's lots of hucking and chucking going on. So let's get right to it. Oh. All right, as they drop in right here, you can see how steep, Love. how tall this thing is right here. Tony, how tall is this thing? How steep is it? This thing's 18 feet tall and it's darn near vertical. Six divisions total. In the women's division, Emily Wallace took the win. In the Groms, it was Jeff Woolley. In the youth, Morris Hogan took the title. Sport division, Tigger Hartman. In the Masters, Jason Sickerel took the victory. Three jumps, add up the scores. High score won in those five divisions. In the pro division, five jumps. Take your top three, add them up. High score at the end wins. You're looking at Van De Witt on one of his first runs. He is a pro. He knows what he's doing out there. Coney, what's happening here? Uh, Van's getting his jumps out of the way, starting off with some basic tricks, some basic grinds. And he's hitting the middle jump. Coming out with the front side three, going into a 50-50. Looking a little bit sketchy coming out of it, but uh, showing good consistency right here. Remember, in a big air and slope style, it's all about consistency and technical prowess, keeping it together, making the ebb and the flow look fluid right here on the Snowmass Firewall. Putting the hands down, judges will discount a bit. 69-5, the total score for Van. 
the overall judging criteria as we're starting big air. What are you, what are the judges looking for? The judges are looking for big air, style, technicality, new tricks. If you don't land it, you ain't getting points for it. Well, a tough cookie to break right there. That's PT, one of the head honchos there. Patrick Thomas, thanks. Here goes Devin Garland on one of his first hucks off the kicker. Let me tell you about Devin, man. That's a young guy. <laughs> Just really hard. I love this guy. I've done a bunch of tours with him. Really great rider up and coming. He's just getting better and better every year. And you can just see the consistency coming out, taking on the harder rail. Just showing, you know, good consistency and going for it. But as we saw in that first jump, he didn't nail the landing. That's going to hurt his points overall in that particular run. As you see right here, stomps the landing, finds the grind. A little off balance there. It'll hurt his speed coming up to the quarter pipe. But all in all, for Devin, a nice run, 70.5. Looks like it's about time for E to pick his favorite crash. Yep, over the three days of mountain boarding, we found lots of people experiencing the gravity rules. Let's take a closer look. Uh, Calvary, Lisa, I was Jerry with the yellow with the white house. I see a lot of Maybe stuff in my time, but blatant carcass tossing is what this is right here. Blatant. You see Ledoux just barrel roll over that double? I got to take a breather here. Hold on. If you ain't crashing, you ain't trying hard enough. Let's see how the pro in the know, Mr. Jason Small, does on his goes of the slope style course. Best of three added up. Highest score wins the prize. Here he goes off the air. Jason Small is one of our seasoned vets last year, bringing the double backflip to the contest. This year, it looks like he's having some issues with the rail. Um, you know, when you're out there jumping, you're just not on every day, and this is an insane rider. That's why I give you five runs at it right there, trying to get his timing right, banging his melon, protective gear, a requirement out here. Helmets to keep that uh, cabeza, your melon intact. The big old backflip, small keeping it together. On his fourth hit, he totally got it together, and then it kind of fell apart. So all in all, 52.5, like you said, Coney, some days are better than others. Who's our next pro? Sean Vile, one of our young kids, also trying the double backflip, showing up. He's got something to prove. This looks like he's not quite getting across it. Looks like there was a little uh, crazy glue on his front wheel as he did Pete Rose in the landing. Let's try it one more time. He's up, almost sticks it, and uh, not able to get the wheels over the transition right there. Will he do it again? Whoa, the double down! but not able to make it a Coney. That is not an easy trick to throw. Definitely not an easy trick and scary every time you do it. And we're not talking about doubling down on blackjack. We're talking about doubling down on flips. My goal is to bring to the event and that's what I did, so I'm happy. Three words for that dude, buh, ring it. And it was brought by Sean Vile with the score of 25. Definitely the favorite of the day. Well, stick with us. When we come back, we're going to get inside the lifestyle of mountain boarders. And, of course, the slope style finals with two of the biggest rippers, two of the biggest names in mountain boarding. Stick around. Do you need video production services for corporate communications, a training video, a television commercial to drive sales of your business? JSP can make your production a success. We offer top quality services at the most affordable rates available. John Sandy Productions, Inc. is a highly motivated team of video film production and multimedia experts. Put the power of video communications to work for you. 303-721-6121 or visit us on the web, jsptv.com. Your hairstylist is like a magician. Creating a look that fits your lifestyle Paul Mitchell lets you keep that look anywhere, anytime. Paul Mitchell is all about style, your style. Only your salon guarantees the real Paul Mitchell.
The 2005 U.S. Mountain Board Championships is brought to you by Paul Mitchell, putting the style back in lifestyle sports. And by the town of Snowmass Village, featuring total mass appeal. And MBS Mountain Boards, always riding. And a special thanks to Snowmass Ski Area, high in the Rocky Mountains. Well, throughout the course of the weekend, got a chance to hang out with some of the mountain boarders. Let's check out what the lifestyle is all about. It is imperative, no matter what you're doing in any type of board sport, no matter what type of sport you're doing, to have the correct gear, is what I'm told. In this, uh, this mountain boarding world, gear is uh, essential. Hillbilly, dirt gear, I'm guessing you have something to do with that. Yep, that's right. I make um, <laughs> hip and tailbone protection. Very important. Padded shorts, which is definitely needed for mountain boarding. And gloves with wrist guards in it. And I have some other products coming out, too. You guys ready for this story right here? <laughs> Talk to you about the lifestyle. Uh, lifestyle is great. Traveling everywhere, hanging out, seeing my friends, I see all around. This year I've been kind of out of the loop, haven't gotten injured, but uh, I finally made it to the event. This is usually one everybody makes it. The US Open is one of our biggest events. <laughs> you got all that? Ice cubes and everything? And you're, you pretty much uh, claimed and quoted every one of the, you've done every one of these. Pretty true? much, yeah. You Without know, you, the sport would be nowhere. Well, you know, I'd like to think that, uh, you know, my rocks are as big as my boulders, but... Uh, <laughs> Give us a flex, just one. Just one. <laughs> there it is. You can't get these pipes at Home Depot, folks, you can't. <laughs> but you can get them from shoveling a jump like those folks down there. Yeah, take, a, take a look down there. Literally, yep. Guys and girls, cats and dogs. Get to um, so, yeah, this is our third year at Snowmass Village, our fourth year of doing the national championships um, with MBS. And we were in uh, Sleepy Hollow, Iowa, just started out in 2002. It was kind of the first year we took on the national event. It's probably the, you know, the best chance of the sport to go to get bigger is to get these kids riding them at a young age. And Camp Snowmass is a great example of, they have like 30 kids today riding in part of their program. So, and we have about, a little over a hundred camps around the country that do mountain boarding programs and that's really the great grassroots part of growing our sport. Well much like Paul Mitchell these guys put the style back in lifestyle sports we join Leon Robbins for one of his first hucks at it this guy top-notch warrior one of the leaders one of the rulers out here at Coney. Leon Robbins absolutely one of my favorite riders to watch you just see him smooth style really innovative just always finds a new line where nobody else sees it. This looks like that board is glued to his feet, similar to how his uh, style in the border cross, which he took the title on that as well. He's gonna hit the kicker right now, floats a beautiful three with style, stomps the landing into the rail. Looking smooth as always, the king of style, Leon Robbins, putting together consistent, smooth runs. Dropping down the 18-foot tower right now. What's Leon got for us? Oh my God, it's the backside cork seven, Leon's trick. Unable to hold on to that landing, but the uh, backside cork seven, there it is one more time. Winds it up, washes out, boom, onto the tailbone. He's going to feel that one in the morning. Is that called the chiropractor's delight right there, Oconee? Definitely. Well, Leon Robbins wraps it up with the 91. Jeremy Leaf comes out on the plate, see what he's got. Clean front side three with a double grab. He's coming into the rails, looking smooth. This is the man to beat. Leon's got the score right now. If anybody can do it, Jeremy Leaf. Young, up-and-comer, insane style, super technical rider. Fearless, but yeah, technical indeed. Keeps his eye on the prize. Reverts it around there, coming into the rail. Slides a 50-50 grind. The quarter pipe, the Snowmath's flame wall. And just, just like artistry, just like dancing out there, the, the Fred Astaire, if you will, of uh, mountain boarding. It's the kicker and throws a peach. What the heck was that, Oconee? The Method Rodeo, done with some insane style. And with that hit right there, that run sealed the deal for Jeremy Leaf, 103.5, taking the title. The rest of the boys chasing him. There it is in front of you. Well, the 2005 U.S. Mountain Board Championships is brought to you by Paul Mitchell, putting the style back in lifestyle sports. Special thanks to John Sandy Productions and the crew, Optic Nerve, Boulder Water, Ground Industries, and Dirt Cloud Racing Productions. For Oconee Comma, I'm Uncle Lee. We'll see you next time.